Hi everyone, this is Asad and in this lesson I'll show you how you can use alphanumeric values for your CAPTCHA image. So let's get started. I'm going to proceed with this example. and Let's go back to our code. I'm going to make some changes over here. Okay, So I'm going to generate a value which will be saved in my text variable text md5 and I'm gonna call this function inside md5 and md5 will return me a string a 32 letters string md5 basically is a hash it will return me something like this there will be 32 characters in it so I'm gonna choose let's say four or five characters I'm gonna remove this and on the next line what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overwrite the text variable once again with a new value substring I'm gonna get a substring out of it so let's say it will produce some sort of this type of string so I just want first five well, first five characters so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass this substring function the text variable and then I'm going to specify the starting point 0 and how many characters I want I want five first five characters I'm going to type 5 right here okay so let uh, I'm not going to remove this rather I'm just going to comment this save one thing remaining now I'm going to put this value which is stored in my text to my session variable as well so I'm gonna remove this part so instead of empty rand I'm gonna type dollar text that's it let's save it and let's go back to our browser refresh so now you can see now we have alpha numeric values so let me remove the lines by the way the lines I'm gonna type zero zero by the way the zero will not let the loop to run loop will not run refresh now you can see 9 C B 9 D so this is how you can easily generate alpha numeric values I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put lines once again two double zero refresh so now it's again really complicated to read even a human being can hardly read it. So I'm going to type P528 E send matched. Perfect. If I type some random number which doesn't match with my CAPTCHA code, it will say invalid CAPTCHA code. So it's working perfectly fine. So in the next lesson, I'll show you how you can control the background color as well as the foreground color dynamically. So this is it for this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next part.